This is the uh, Ponca Blackberry update. As you can see here, um, there's lots that are ready to be picked. Last update I gave is that uh, there's only two that are ripe. So there's Ponca's everywhere, but this is the one where the entire row is all Ponca. And let's just go through the uh, row right here. And I got all the Ponca's, they were bare root, like five to uh, 12 inch sticks from Ison's nursery. I got this um, last year, pretty early in the year. So they've been here uh, more than a year. And um, of course, didn't get their floricanes, didn't get anything last year. So, but right now, so there's plenty to harvest. I need to harvest them tomorrow morning, so hopefully the birds uh, didn't hear me. Because usually that's what they do. All right, and we'll go to the other sections that are punkas also. So, hay fork. Fork is kind of guarding the uh, black thornless blackberries. There you go, punkas. So um, they got stunted a bit uh, because of the drought last year and uh, they didn't i watered them a lot but uh, you can kind of see that uh, the primal canes are setting for you know so for next year's uh, fruit uh, fruiting cane but there's plenty to harvest so let's take a look at this one they're about they're not as big as Primark, of course, but let's try this one. That's very sweet. A little bit of tart, but very sweet. All right, so that's why it's very bad to kind of come here and then just not snack on these things. Mm, no tart on that one. Very sweet. Oh, pork is uh, wanting to attention. Hey, Porky. All right, we're still on that same row, just on the other side. This one right here, pretty much. Lots of fruit still. And this one here failed to kind of pollinate. You can see how small are <laughs> like tiny little berries. That's a that didn't work out too well, but it uh, has lots of primal cane uh, uh, growth. Lots and lots of not so ready yet, right here. Let's try this one. Okay, so that one don't go yet. There, I'm still learning the art of picking the correct time. If they're not ready, they can be tart. But Ponkas, even though they're tart and not ready, there's, they, there's a lot of sweetness to them. Mm, that was very good. And you should be harvesting this early in the morning, so. Tons of fruits on this side right here. And I got a weed. Oh, man. This giant almost dinosaur weed with thorns let's put that real quick all right so then there's some here that are still just got started so little baby poncus uh fruit all right so that's i would say not as crazy productive as the primark but still very good this is the sweetie pie section right here and these are also Ponkas. This one is a Ponka that's Primark Ponka. And what's crazy is that the Primark floor, uh, Primal Cane are already flowering. So that's the thing with the Primark. But this is a Ponka video, so let's move on. <laughs> Here's another Ponka. 
Look at the growth on the primal cane on this one. Lots of fruit at the bottom. Okay, more poncas. They're about probably a few more weeks before they turn. Okay, this is all ponca right here. So I have about a row and a half of poncas. I got the drip irrigation. This is, I don't know what this one is. Um, it's, I have space right here. So I just added the one that, there were like suckers everywhere. Grab that one. As you can see here, I got plenty of uh, potted one and I gave away a lot already. And there's still plenty right there. And these are just suckers that I dig up. So I usually don't want to mix those so that I can remember the variety, but I don't know what this one is. Could be Primark, but I know for a fact that from here all the way halfway there, these are still Poncas and uh, they're uh, uh, they're ready now. And they're, uh, there's a lot of Primal Canes uh, growing for next year, so pretty happy with that and uh, since these are from bare roots you can see how thin the the primal canes from last year the flora canes now they were like sticks versus the uh, primal cane for its second year they're massive and here's more on the other side and tons of fruit right here And there's a lot that are kind of ready, but they're not as dark yet. So pretty sure if I pick that at start, let's pick it anyway. Oh, that's what I go. So let's get a oh, bird, bird damage. So birds are learning. Okay. Bonkas still, lots of growth. This is just on the other side, Bonka. And right here is the cutoff. This is a uh, Primark. Primark Freedom, and you can tell right here we have flowers for the Primark already from the from the uh, Primal King. And then we go back to Ponca. Poncas. Let's try this one. All right. Not a sweet, not yet ready. And this looks like, I don't know if this is a ponca right here. Another one I probably just planted. Um, probably most likely primal cane and mixed with ponca. Look how massive those guys are. Um, I'll, I'll know more later if I see any flowers on this primal canes. Because usually at the end, I there's a lot of space and I stick a lot of the suckers. So, All right, but ponca's loaded on this side so that's the update for ponca thornless blackberry for may 2023 i have um the rows are 50 foot long so i have 75 foot row because it's a foot and a half i mean a row and a half of poncas this one right here not as vigorous sweetie pie look at how vigorous sweetie pie is and sweetie pie is sweet so i'll get an update on that and kind of like a taste uh review but for now, Poncas, uh, they're sweet. Unlike Primark Freedom, they're kind of hit or miss. And I was told that they're you know, great for processing or jams, jelly, where you, would, you, know, you wouldn't care if they're sweet or not because you're adding tons of sugar for the jelly making or jam making. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Say bye for it. Fergie. Okay. Yeah.